Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another crash course which is on docker and here we are going to talk about how to create docker containers, how to create a docker environment for the local development setup for the application. Okay, so in this video we are going to talk about what is docker, how it actually it works and how we are creating the containers for docker. Okay. So first of all, we'll, let's try to understand the Docker. So Docker is a tool for running the application in isolated environment, which is run, which is known as a Docker container. It gives you many advantages such as reducing machine specific setup problems. Okay, I have like uh, application running on my system, which is using different different containers like MongoDB, Redis, Redis RabbitMQ, Kafka and all. And I want to set up the same thing on another system then it's a headache, right? We have to do a lot of uh, troubleshooting and we have to do a lot of uh, things to set up the same kind of environment but if we just have this docker compose file and we are running the docker containers for these services then it is very easy to set up uh, the local development okay so earlier we used to use virtual machines which we were using to achieve this kind of setup set, setup where one virtual machine is running some service another is running some another service but we can't run many VMs on a host operating system because they are taking more memory and more process. So instead of that, we can just use these containers which are very small kind of sandbox kind of environment which are not conflicting with uh, one another. They are very less in computations and very less memory consuming. Okay. So Docker is actually widely accepted among developer community since 2013 and Docker is becoming very much popular. It is actually built on top of Linux container technology LXC which we known as. Okay, so we will just get started with what is Docker, how to install the Docker and how to create the containers. How to set up your uh, local system with Docker to run your application which is using different different services. You are writing Node.js but it is using React also for front end, uh, RabbitMQ, Node.js, Kafka or maybe service discovery service or maybe a lot of uh, independent service you are running so it's better to run that in the docker containers so this particular course is for understanding of docker for developers who actually need docker for day-to-day -day life in my recent videos also i was using docker compose and spinning up the containers so if you are not able to understand how docker works and all then you can just go through this playlist uh, basic introduction of mine I do a lot of uh, teaching on the YouTube's on, on other platforms so in this course, crash course we will talk about first section I mean this is divided into five sections we'll talk about all these different topics so section one is typically talking about how this docker containerization is possible on the Linux because we are using Linux container technology LXC which is providing us three things c group namespaces and ch root combining all the three things we are able to create isolated container environment for our application services okay that we will go into the deep and we will understand it then we'll talk about introduction of containers docker image docker cli docker containers how to install it what all different commands you can run to um, install a image remove a image start a container stop a container okay then we'll talk about building a docker container from a docker file for your local application java node.js python you'll be writing a docker file to spin up that service as a container okay so you can create a container by pulling an image or by writing a docker file and building the docker file will also give you the container section 4 we will talk about docker volume docker network docker bridge network and docker compose docker compose up down all these commands we will write a docker compose file to run multi container setup in, in just a single go right instead of creating independent container we can use docker compose to create a set of containers okay then we will talk about some other additional tools which are helping us to integrate with kubernetes i mean how, what is kubernetes that is actually next path after you understand the docker because in production you might be using Kubernetes instead of uh, just having a docker setup because 
with the kubernetes you can actually have a control on these independent docker containers which are indirectly represented as a pods okay so this is what we have let's get started i think I will see you in the next video where we are started talking about Docker containers. If you like, uh, if you like the crash course, then you can also subscribe my channel. Thanks everyone.